are likely to get. The American Cancer Society also put out recommendations last year. Can you discuss how now these two sets of guidelines, how are they maybe coming closer together, merging together, and how are they still different? And do you think this might confuse the public a little bit? I think that the fact that there are several guidelines will confuse the public, it'll confuse doctors, it'll confuse insurers. Um, I think that both sets of guidelines are a step in the wrong direction. The newest one is a big step in the wrong direction. The Cancer Society is a medium step in the wrong direction. The American Cancer Society moved the date of commencement up five years. That's better than 10 years. Seems to have been a relatively arbitrary date that was chosen as a compromise. The studies that looked at women from 40 to 49 are very clear in their benefit for this disease. And I don't think that we should be selling that short for any reason, not the fear of anxiety, because frankly women can handle the anxiety, or the fear that we might have false positives, which we every screening does. Remember that we're not really talking about pap smears or chest x-rays for lung cancer or skin mole detection, where we do m many biopsies. Breast seems to be ha held to a different standard here, and it's one that we have to rebel against and protect women in America. My, my wife's mother had breast cancer, her grandmother had breast cancer, um, and the notion that we would change by 10 years the point at which we would start screening any woman is really, it's, to me, it's crazy.